Hey guys, how you doing? It's Tim A W W, and I'm here with Wikipedia. Hey guys, what's going on? And um, we are here on this server. The that... land of Mr. Fancy Pants. Yes, Wikipedia. Could you please tell the viewers about this server? Privately hosted server. Uh, I play on it, and a bunch of my friends, and a couple other YouTubers, including Timmy now. Um, just trying to get it started. Start our own server. Yeah, it's um, it's going really well. Uh, a lot of cool guys playing the server, and I was invited to come on and play, and I said it'd be awesome. So we're here now, and I've only been on for about one day. One day. But we have things that need to be done. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to try and do today is work on this modular power suit that I'm going to have Wikipedia explain to me because I have never dealt with this mod before. Exactly. So and besides... I love, I love mm -hmm. the hat that the hat mod gave you. <laughs> it's like a log with an axe in it. Okay, yep. never mind, just keep going. All right, so get all that stuff in you. You can ignore the uh, the force stuff, but get all the components, get all the gear. You might as well slap the gear on just so you save space or whatever, because it can be on you when you uh, do all that. Okay. It looks pretty awesome, too, when you first put it on. I like to have a lot of it off, but yeah, you look like an astronaut. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and by the way, if you noticed, my skin was changed. Uh, Wikipedia and I... Mostly Wikipedia. Work, um, we worked we made it. A, we worked together. We made a skin for me. So yeah, made. um, if you hit L, you can turn a lot of the stuff oh. off. Whoa, cool. So like, click on your helmet to start, and then there's three buttons on the side. There's like a white chest with a blue light, white chest with a gray, and then another white chest with a blue light. Maybe. All right. Yeah. Um, the one on the far left turns the graphic off. The one in the center with the gray on the chest shows an alternate graphic. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So... Um, I think, sometimes. I don't know. It's not... I don't, I don't so know. So I could just click Behind one you. and then... Ah. Uh... There, I got him. All right. So, yeah, you can, you can customize a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, now you have, like, a scuba helmet on. Do I? Yeah. Get oh, wow. Five. Cool. But and then you can change the color on all of it too. There's a lot of time that you could spend doing that, but we'll we'll get over that for now. Uh, so let's start it up by opening up the tinker table. This big green beautiful thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Well then, okay. What does it look like? It looks like you're wearing a uh, bane mask. <laughs> okay, open the table. I broke you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So click on your helmet to start. Uh, on the very top row, there's the armor, different different armor platings. The heat sink is pretty much unnecessary. I've never needed it, so you can ignore that. And then the iron, diamond, and energy shield is the type of armors that you can apply. I gave you this stuff for energy shield. It doesn't weigh anything. So the whole thing with this armor is that when you get heavier, you move slower. So Ooh. you want to stay under 25 kilograms for your entire setup. So my plan with this, with my armor at least, is to get right at 25 kilograms, so, um, or less, but, so crank, put in the an energy shield, it's the third one from the left. And then I hit install, Yep, right? and then once you have the install button on, there's a little gauge on the right side. Yeah. Crank up the field strength, you'll want that all the way to the top, that's how much protection that armor thing will oh, give Oh yeah, well look, I can see my little armor bars going up and down there. Yep, yep, you'll see okay. them change. Six points? And then that'll be max protection. I don't have the thing for your solar generation, uh, so that's no big deal. You do have enough stuff for the auto feeder, which is very nice, uh, in the environment section. Okay, auto feeder. Is that what? Do I want to click that? Yep, click it, and then install it, and crank oh, so up the efficiency too. Uh, the the thing is, when you have something that's more efficient, it'll take more power, but it'll be more efficient with eating your food. But you have nearly. Well, it doesn't need to be that efficient, this. right? Like if I put it like you know, two-thirds. Well, right, but then you just go through food faster, and when you have unlimited energy uh. with this suit, you might as well spend the energy that you have boundless okay. amounts of. Are we going to have unlimited energy? Basically, yes. Very nice. That'll come okay. later with the mixture of the, the jetpack and the legs. And, and I saw that, I noticed you had vision, and you had, like, night vision on. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that. That's coming down. Uh, then also hit the water electrolyzer. Uh, some of the stuff doesn't have a gauge on it. I just hit install on that? 
Yep, and that that'll let you breathe underwater. When you run out of air, it'll electrolyze the water, and a small bubble of breath form you. <laughs> okay. Next one down is the vision. Um, I don't even know how to use the binoculars, but I have them installed. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, night vision, you should have the stuff for that. Just install it, and it'll always be on. It drains very little power, if any. I don't even know. But and there's no there's no slidey thing for that. Nope, it's just on. Okay. And then get flight control as well. Flight and that's control. the the next special one, with the little wings. And then crank that up. Uh, no, you want to leave that one off to start. Basically, when you crank up the flight control, the Y look ratio is if you're looking in a direction up or down, it'll start to decline you or ascend you when oh, yeah, in the no, direction no, 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 you're no. looking. I don't like that. I like the full creative flight style. Yeah. Where you stay at the same level. So you're now that you have flight control, you're gonna want to hit K, and you're gonna want to hit New. Do a key binding like G or T or something that isn't used. Okay. And then once you have that key binding, is it red or blue? It's red. So it's it's conflicting with something else, but it might still work. Okay. Drag that little gold symbol that was for the flight control with the wings over to that letter. Over on the control. Okay, it's there. Yep, and then once you get out of there, hit that button, and it'll turn your flight control off like you can hear your jetpack right now. And now it's off. So when it's on, you fly a little bit faster but it's hard to land and if you want to go down you hit Z but I usually just turn it off to go down and, and do you, do you take fall. fall damage? eventually you won't oh I didn't get you any wool well uh, do you? Have, I gave you string though like I'm falling now and I'm not taking any damage when I take when I fall you're, you're not falling very far but yeah come on inside we'll do some more oh wait flight. so that's just for flight control on and off Right, yeah, with a jet with the jetpack you're always on. And you already have it on you. I did that ahead of time for you. But if you if you hit the ground going too fast, you're going to take damage. I see. Okay, I understand. So I, I always want it on. Well, I turn it off and on all the time, and once you get the shock absorbers in your boots, you won't ever need it again. To, okay. Like slow your But then when I jump, I'm just going to start flying every time I jump, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right, so we're back in here. The helmet is basically done. If you want to go back and do the binoculars, like the clock and compass someday, or the arometer, uh, solar generator, and the apiarist armor, another no, time. No, fine. It's all uh, good. But we'll go to the chest plate. Hold on. I'm just gonna customize this face really quick because I'm just I'm curious. Is it doing things? Oh yeah, it's adding all kinds of stuff on there. For a while, you had two helmets on. <laughs> What does this look like? Oh, that is so weird. Oh gosh, I'll never be able to find the original. Oh, okay, maybe I will. Hold on. Let me see if I can. I like to just turn it off because then your skin's showing. But Oh, you can turn it off completely? That's cool. Yeah, you can have but it, it all. And it still works. Now. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Like, let's see here. And I see in the top left of my screen it says zero, and then it has a picture of a beef next to it. Does that mean I don't it's like it's not gonna let me eat? Um, no, that means you. Uh, that means you're just not overfilled on food right now. Like, okay. how? What's your hunger bar at? Full. Yeah. So there's some more food. I don't know if it goes up from that. If you didn't have any food in your inventory, or like I have like a stack of steak in my inventory. Okay. Yeah, and it'll slowly take food from your inventory as you need it. It'll just feed you automatically. Cool. Yeah, I it's like very this. cool. Very okay. handy. So when we should move on to the chest plate? Oh, right. Sorry. When we sprint as fast as we do, we go through a lot of food. So ah. we'll go to the chest piece. Number one thing, just do the armor again. Pop in the energy shield. Crank it up. Crank it. Okay. I've, I've already got your battery in there, so you're good on that. And you've got the glider and jetpack already. Um, you really won't need to adjust anything on those, but they do have sliders. Okay. Um, eventually, I do recommend getting a water tank, but it's just glass, two circuits, and a bucket of water. It's no big deal. Okay. And also, before you go to the nether, you need a cooling system. Um, the thing with this armor is you heat up when you're generating power from moving, 
and in the nether you don't cool down you just you you just keep heating up standing still and if you get too hot and you overheat you you set yourself on fire and you eventually die very quickly you can't fly when you're burning either oh that's not good yeah so without Wait, a cooling so system the nether is off limits for you you can't fly when you're burning so if you're in a pool of lava and you're dying you can't fly out no <laughs> Oh, that's no good. I mean, for the split second where you're technically immune to damage the way Minecraft works, you could fly up a little bit, but you won't get out. You'll fall like a stone the second you take So I should ticket. still have, like... But then, with the cooling system, if I have it in, will I be able to be in lava and not yes. take damage? Yes. <laughs> I swim in lava for fun. <laughs> okay. My, my hearts go up when I'm in lava. It's cool. <laughs> All right, so that the chest piece is pretty much done then, because the jetpack was already done for you. Go to the legs. Okay. Now the kin the kinetic generator. Throw in your energy shield again. Same thing as normal. Crank it up. The Got kinetic it. generator is the big heat generation, but that's also your power generation. It's the energy in the far right side. Do you want me to turn that? Oh, it's already up. Yep, the way. it's already up. I put that in there so that we wouldn't forget it. Um, that is your infinite power generation. The way that the power generation works on the power suits is the it's based on how many blocks you travel. So the faster you move or the more distance you travel, the more energy you create. So that's why we crank everything, because then you move faster. Yes, you're burning more power, but you're generating more than you're using already. Okay. Um, up to, and then on the movement side, uh, sprint assist, you're going to want to put that in there. I had my compensation way down. What do I put my, everything on full compensation power walk yep. assist? Compensation will basically cause you to use a little bit more power when you're sprinting, but it'll use less food. Okay. And I saw um, Aaron join the server by the way. Yep. It's very nice. Okay. And then the power is going to be the sprint speed and then the walking assist is going to be the walk speed. So you're going to walk and sprint faster all the time. Oh, and then there goes Aaron. <laughs> Okay. You really don't need jump assist because you have a jet pack, so every time you jump, you're already flying as high as you want. So you can skip that. Uh, I did give you the swim boost already because I didn't know how many ion thrusters you'd need. And then uphill step assist is the greatest thing in the world. And do I install that right away? Oh yeah. you want to okay. come try it out too. Okay, I will. So this full block here, you can walk yeah. right up it without <laughs> jumping. Shouldn't even have installed these half slabs then. <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. But yeah, awesome. you can you can walk up a full block. It doesn't really cost any energy, and uh, you move too fast to hit mobs sometimes. It's fun. Yeah, you have it, you'll get it'll you'll get you'll acclimate to it. It okay. uh, it gets and a lot easier. Now I need to work on not taking fall damage because how do I yep. do that? That's coming up next. Go to the boots. Pop okay. in your energy shield. Of course, I almost forgot. Okay, up all the way. And then lower down uh, the shock absorber on the right side of movement. That'll take two servos and two wool. I just threw you two wool from the string I made. Okay, install it up. All the way. Mm -hmm. And you will jet no boots. longer. Yep, the jet boots. You have a jet pack, <laughs> so you don't need it. Okay. Um, but now you have. No, you will no longer take fall damage. Fantastic. Yep. And then once you want to get uh, going on with the uh, power tool, there's a ton of upgrades for the power tool. Yeah. Um, like I can shoot a rail gun. I have a wrench. I have, you have a rail gun. Yeah. Like a quake style rail gun. Yeah. It's it's an insta give for almost every mob. And what is this? These are lights. They cost a little bit of energy. I can put them anywhere. I can. They stack on each other. I mean, oh, so that's why they were everywhere around spawned. Yep. They're basically free torches. You, you won't need torches anymore. And okay, then, well, I mean, when you have night vision anyway. But, you know, mob spawn. Mob right. spawnage. Well, if you that, just we'll, shoot a few of these around. We'll take care of the mob spawning eventually here, too. <laughs> Heck, oh, we'll do that later episode, I suppose? Well, uh, in this one. Just in a little bit here. Uh, well, actually, yeah, we, we're done with the power suit. You're pretty much good to go, so whenever you get start getting low on power, you see your little gauge on the right side? Yeah. You just need to go for a run. Just go for a little jog. Yep, okay. your power will generate as you go. Just watch your heat level so that you don't set on fire. And, and uh, which one's the heat level? 
the red bar next to your power. Um, oh, I see it, I see it. So, like, if I run too much... Mm -hmm. You'll okay. see it when you sprint, and it, it also factors in the biomes that you're in. Yeah, so like this, is a, in, um, this is a... This place is hot. Yeah, I suppose. I wish it would, I'm, like, I have a degrees thing, almost like Daisy on the side, where it'd be like, it's this temperature mm -hmm. outside. Yep. So, see. here, take a look at this thing. Oh, I just threw it on the ground behind you. Okay, I see. Oh, Did you pick it up whoops. again? There you go. Magnum torch. <clears throat> what does this do? So this eliminates the need to light up areas for mobs to not spawn. If you want to use it, you can. Um, it takes a little bit of diamonds and some potions and stuff to make. Uh, they are a little expensive, but we're set up pretty well. 64 block radius. Mobs will not spawn around that in the chunks up that it covers. and down and all around? I believe it's all the way up and all the way down in a 64 block radius of chunks. Okay, well, I would press the button to tell chunks, but it would stop my recording. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it, you don't really need to know where the chunks are. It's 64 blocks. It's a huge area. And can I just break this with my fist then? Yep. Okay, I wanted to make sure before I broke it that I was going to get it back. There we go. Yep. So I can just place this, like, psh, you know. On yeah, top I, of here, nobody will really, really see exactly, it. Exactly, yep. And no one will ever really see it, and you just, the mobs won't spawn here anymore. And, uh, I mean, it's it's really just a convenience thing. Yeah. Um, and if you want to fight mobs, they will be lining up outside the range of that thing, because there's no place for them to spawn near you. They're all going to spawn just outside it. Okay. But can they walk in, is the question. Can they walk yep. into that? Yep, they can definitely walk in, so you do have to kind of watch for wandering in mobs, but um, for the most part, you're good. Okay. So really, like, you don't need lights, you just need night vision and A one of torch. these. A torch. Yep. Yeah. You can cool. go complete without light sources, and you'd be just fine. Very cool. But yeah, right. um, that's basically it for the power suits, besides the few extra upgrades that you want to do before you go to the nether. But uh, we've got you pretty much set up here, ready to go. Is there anything else? Um, what was it we were talking about just a sec ago? I don't remember. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. Um, nope. Don't remember. We were like, we should add this, or we should do this. But I can't remember what it was. Uh, armor modifications or something? I don't know. Uh, not can't remember. Anyway, we'll, we'll go back to you guys in just a sec. If not, it'll just be me doing things. Oh, right. We were, like, going to build your house, right? We were going to build my house. We should, like, give you some walls that aren't dirt and <laughs> uh, red rock cobblestone. You want to do that now? Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. come back to you guys in a little bit once we got a little purified in here, and we'll see you in a little while. All right. See you guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back. We have, uh, done some work on the house let us turn around and show you ba bam looks a little bit good. nicer yeah yeah right look cleaner very clean definitely nice and clean and i've been um in the meantime of us building this i've been running around with this with this suit on and it is amazing oh man fire oh fire okay <laughs> that's how amazing it, it's so amazing it burns your pants off man exactly burns burns your pants right off it's uh we could probably do some more of the uh, countryside even with this uh, brick style. You sure? You want? I kind of like it. I like it's cool. I mean, it's it's not a lot of work. I mean, <laughs> just click around, yeah. Yeah, I maybe use some here. Yeah. You use some over here on the ground, you know, me over here. Oh, like like kind of like hereish, right? Yeah, like thereish. And oh, your furnaces—they can't be sitting on dirt. Oh yeah, totally. I've only got 440 of these left. <laughs> only 440. Man, really? Ah, this dirt, get out of here. Oh, here's dang. some more for you on the ground. Take some stone bricks. Oh, no, no. I, I've, I've, there's a few left, yeah. <laughs> Let's get my leaf blower out. Your leaf blower? Yeah. I saw, I saw Aaron use that. Get rid of this grass. Because I, when I click on the grass with the uh, swapper wand... <laughs> it swat it switches the grass and nah. then not the block. Alright. 
That looks good. And pop. Should probably put a little bit more obsidian in there randomly, make it look good. Pop the mile, yeah, sweat. Yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah, I'll put some obsidian in here, yeah. So I'll just break up a couple sections out for you. And... Yeah. So that's what we did. Looks like a pretty cool house. You'll be able to find it at least now. It doesn't blend in so much and uh Yeah. Ooh. It's a uh... oh, 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 I missed a spot. I'll have to get rid of these little bushes eventually. They're encroaching on my facility. Yep. Super yep. bushes. Eventually. 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 Okay, so I guess that'll wrap it up for this episode. Right? Your bushes are gone. <laughs> what? How? What? Leaf blower. <laughs> Le oh, leaf. I forgot about that. Yeah. All right. Now I'll you just have to hit the wood and then you're good to go. But thanks wood. for watching, everybody. Yes, yeah. check out Timmy. We'll 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 each post our channels in the t description below. Yes, totally. Check out Wikipedia. He's a good guy. His name's Wikipedia. How can you not like Wikipedia? Exactly. Just say it, Wikipedia. You know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon with another episode. And um, watch on both of our Twitch channels. Make sure to follow there as well. We'll be streaming together and on this server. Not always together, but. I've been doing a lot of streaming recently, and he's picking up on it, so definitely just, down for we'll that as well. A lot. Yeah, so just look out, and we will see you when we see you. Later. Peace.